Haggadah continues and asks the four questions that we are very familiar with. And then the Haggadah says, Avadim Hayinu, the Pharaoh B'Mitzrayim. We were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt. And most of the commentators tell us that this indeed is a direct answer to the four questions. That we shouldn't just ask the four questions and then get lost in the rest of the answers and the continuation of the Haggadah. But we answer those questions right then and there. We're doing all these different things tonight. Why? Because we were slaves in Egypt. On a simple level, it means what it means. But the al Sheikh offers something very interesting and says, not only were we slaves, but actually the Egyptians caused us and made us worship their false gods. That's what we did in Egypt. We got to that sunken base level whereby our souls were not connected with Hashem. Our spirits were not godly. Yet, God in His infinite kindness took us out from there with a strong hand and an outstretched arm. And then in that answer, the Haggadah continues, If God had not taken us out of Egypt, behold, us and our children and our children's children would still be servants, slaves to Pharaoh in Mitzrayim. How do we understand this? Because the reality is, where is Pharaoh? Where is that Egyptian kingdom? It's come and gone, as have all other kingdoms that have tried to persecute the Jewish people and throughout time. How can we say with certainty that we still would have been slaves? So perhaps we can answer this based on what we just said of the al Sheikh. We were steeped in a mindset of worshiping foreign gods, gods that were not ours. And have we not been redeemed with open miracles by Hashem, God? we as a people would still be steeped in that culture, serving foreign things and having a non-God conscious about us. I think this point is so true today for us. Here we are living in a beautiful country, yet we live in a society that surrounds us with false ideas, things that we worship that are really not of Jewish belief. As we sit around our Seder table, reading the Haggadah, we can ask ourselves, what are our gods? What are we worshiping? Are we still Avadim, the Pharaoh of Mitzrayim? Are we still slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt? Are we still striving after things which are not going to bring us goodness, godliness, holiness, and spirituality? Or is our life set of one of goodness? Is our life in the direction of one trying to get close to Hashem, striving after the mitzvahs? That is the question we ask ourselves. And we say that even if we were all wise and knew the Holy Torah, all of it, it would still be incumbent upon us. Why is that? Because none of us can ever be certain that we have taken the steps necessary to fully redeem ourselves from the attitude of slavery of Egypt. It's a constant motion. It's a constant check every single moment of every day. Which God am I serving? Am I serving those gods of Egypt? Or am I serving the true God? And we see that even the greatest rabbis sat around discussing this. Even the great Rabbi Akiva, the greatest of all the rabbis, of the Mishnah, who was completely devoid of any levels of spiritual filth or impurity. And even he certainly sat around declaring the story of how he left Egypt in order to constantly remind himself and ourselves of our need to free ourselves of the chains of Egypt.